We've had a couple Sims updates this week, and I thought I was gonna make this video just about the one from yesterday, but as I was sitting down to record it, we had another SDX drop. So we've got yesterday's actual game update, and then today's SDX drop with some free in-game content. And yesterday's update was kind of an interesting one. I'm sure you may have noticed already, but they changed the main menu again. And they also had a whole thing with this girl covering the entire menu yesterday. It was scary. I'll get to that in a second, but there's an SDX drop. New Sims delivery, so I've gotta restart my game. I won't lie, I'm already a little bit worried about what might await me on the main menu after yesterday. Okay, it seems like we're fine. There's nothing scary going- well, there's a little bit of scary going on, but it's not the whole thing. Let me explain. So in the update yesterday, it was mostly just a couple bug fixes, not really anything huge, but also the main menu update. And in what seems like maybe like a late April Fool's prank or something, they had that character covering the entire main menu. It was only for yesterday, so I can't show you live, but when I opened up my game yesterday, this is what it looked like. I think they're kind of making fun of themselves with like how often that girl is on the main menu. They also put her on the gallery for us to download and all the Sims team on Twitter was like totally going along with it. I tweeted about the menu being scary and then Sim Guru Ninja replied with just like a really up close picture of her face. It was truly terrifying. Yesterday was a bad day for the Sims community. But luckily it's gone now. She's only in one corner instead of across the entire thing. Although we do have a new menu. So let's talk about that. So as you can probably tell, they've changed just this sidebar here on the main menu. Usually menu changes are not meant with very much excitement from the community. People usually hate this kind of thing, and I don't blame them. Change is scary. I'm not sure about this. I don't think I hate it as much as I've hated some of the other menu changes they've done. Like when this menu style came out originally, I was horrified. I thought it was so bad. I don't dislike it anymore. I kind of miss it now. But I will say it looks like they're doing a lot to make the menu options a lot more obvious. I think that's been true of like all of the past menu updates. They're just trying to make it more clear what all the buttons are and what you can do with them. So instead of having just that big play button as a resume button, we now have like a proper one that says resume and also shows off the last sim you played with. And they have like a little text box that's kind of funny most of the time underneath it. So it just makes it a little bit more clear what that resume button is. And it also makes like the load game and new game options more obvious. I think that's important because you would be so surprised to know how many people don't even know you can have more than one save. That big play button almost looks like it's the only thing you could do. And even that was an improvement. Back when the game first came out, there was like a little button up in the top right corner, like a little tiny plus sign, and that was how you made new saves. And so many people didn't even know you could do that. So many people in my comments, in my Twitch chat, being like, how do you have your sims like that? Like, where are your other ones? Had no idea you could make a second save. So while I don't know if I love the look of this main menu, I kind of wish the buttons were like more clearly buttons. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I don't know if I vibe with this style. I do appreciate them doing things to make the menu options more clear to new players. It's not a good sign when like the menu is confusing to people that are trying to play your game, right? So I think that doing anything they can to make it more obvious to players is always a positive. I've also seen a few people talking about how they're annoyed that they're spending time working on the menu and not working on like other game updates. I will say it's not like the whole team took aside like weeks and weeks to work on this, you know, it's probably a small group that made this. I wouldn't look at this as taking away from other game content. Like I just, I don't think that's an issue at all here. And like I said, if people think it's confusing, even if you don't think it's confusing, they obviously had a reason to update it. And trust me from my comments, I can tell you they had reason to update it. I don't think it's a bad thing. Although again, I'm not sure if I like how it looks. I do like the sim though. I think that part is cool. But she's kind of like bad quality. Can you tell? It's sort of odd. She's all pixely, nothing else is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna nitpick it too much. That was pretty much the main thing in the update yesterday. They also had, like I said, a few bug fixes, but not any like super notable ones, I didn't think. I always link the patch notes for you, so I'll have them linked down below in case you want to read them, but but it wasn't a super big patch. You can tell there's not a huge long list of fixes. But we also have that SDX drop from today, and this one I think is a little bit more exciting, although I guess, you know, a menu change is a kind of big deal, but the SDX drop has free stuff, so that's more fun. There is one new scenario. This one is a limited time one called Frog Fanatic. Frog fact number one, frogs can't eat and keep both their eyes open at the same time, okay? And the description says, a sim is frantically trying to gather all the frog facts of the world. After all, frogs are ribbiting creatures that can be used for a whole slew of things, even breeding. This frog fanatic Toad Ali cannot wait, get it? <laughs> cannot wait to hop right into the nearest pond and collect all of the frog friends. I think this probably has something to do with Earth Day. It sounds like it probably just wants you to find a bunch of frogs, which is cute. I like it. We'll test that in a second, but the SDX drop also came with a new top. I know there's a tank top somewhere. I just gotta find it first. Aha, this one. Okay. Oh, it's cute. It looks like it's just a recolor of one of the tank tops we probably already had, but we don't really have 
anything that's that like heather texture and it's got a cute little pattern on it I'll I'll take it listen you can't really go wrong with free items so if they're gonna give me like any new clothes even if it's simple like this I'll take it it's always fun to get new stuff frog otten friends <laughs> and it wants you to catch a frog from a log from a pond from a water pump breed nine frogs cook a boiling frog hot pot I don't want to cook a frog <laughs> fish while using a frog as a bait catch or breed eight unique common frogs catch or breed six unique uncommon frogs and catch or breed four unique rare frogs so it really just wants you to walk through all of the frog gameplay that's kind of fun I mean I don't know if I'm gonna do this scenario because I, I play with frogs a lot actually kind of a surprising amount frogs are a great way to make money in this game like breeding frogs super useful but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of players had no idea you could even do any of these things and I think that's probably like the highlight of scenarios is sort of encouraging you to play in a different way and how many of us would do an entire save entirely based on frogs probably not many of us I mean maybe me considering how I play with Stanley I do a lot of weird things with him perhaps a get rich quick using only frogs I might I might actually do it to be honest with you <laughs> it sounds like fun maybe I will play this scenario but it's cool because you might not have known that you could do any of these things so I think it's a fun way to introduce you to new gameplay speaking of new gameplay the scenario also comes with two new food items your sims can cook I don't know what skill they require so I'm gonna check not a skill that Stanley has that's for sure <laughs> they're not unlocked yet eh. I'll just max it. So there's two new Arab recipes they added. One of them is level three. This. This well-known Arab savory pastry can be enjoyed as a snack or appetizer. I love when they do this. It's such a small thing to like add more food to the game. What are you doing? Keep cooking it. I want to see it. But it's so cool to introduce more inclusive food options like this. And I love how they put like a little bio to teach you about it as well. There are so many food items that I learned about for the first time ever in The Sims 3. And I feel like a lot of us can probably say the same of that. And I just love them doing this in The Sims 4. I think it's a great way to teach people about things. It's great to have foods that you eat included in the game. It's a fun gameplay feature to have more recipes to cook. I don't know. It's just a big win, I think, all around. But there's also a second one, and I believe that one is level 4. There's so many recipes now, it's actually kind of hard to find them sometimes. This. This is the last one. This Arab dessert is a sweet and savory treat that is quite popular with many cultures. Stanley, we're testing. Come on. Oh, and he's scared of a thunderstorm. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm trying to test this. And there's a welcome wagon. Get away from me! Leave! All of you! Okay, here's this other food item. Do you know what else? I feel like they've gotten better at making- well, maybe that one not so much. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like they've gotten better at making food textures recently, but that one doesn't look so good. Sometimes the food textures they have in this game are like actual- and it's disappeared. Oh, and it's back. But some of the textures of the foods in this game, especially the ones from the cupcake machine, they're actually kind of scary. I don't know if you've looked recently, but like the crab cakes, even the donuts, they actually look nasty. And then you compare it to like the CC food that they added. Remember when Ice Mun Mun made a bunch of recipes and they put it in the game in that like CC update? The ones from Ice Mun Mun are so pretty. And then we have like the actual Sims ones that are kind of bad. I do think these are better. Like I think these are improved compared to some of the older ones, but I always like to look at it because obviously, you know, it's not like a, a high D detail item. It's just a food item, but it doesn't have to look gross. I think those are nice. But for example, I think like the franks and beans, hang on, I'll show you. <laughs> this one's from Outdoor Retreat. I'm sorry, but that does not look appetizing. It just doesn't. Come on. Come on. Do you want to eat that? No. No, I do not. Okay, there is one last thing in the STX drop though. Let me get some more lights. It's dark in here. They also added this new base game plant. This is so cute. And the swatches are good. Look at that one. How does it look in the dark? <gasps> the lights went away. <gasps> no way. <gasps> oh my god, I could cry. No way. What? It actually blooms at nighttime. That's so cool. This plant costs 120 simoleons. Behold the beauty of this pretty prickly cacti that just goes to show that some of the prettiest of things can come from the darkness. Whether outdoors or in, this desert beauty is sure to brighten up even the darkest night. That is such a fun item. This SDX drop is actually great. They covered all the bases. We got cast, we got gameplay, and we got build mode. I know it's just like a couple small things. It's just like a couple recipes, a tank top, and a plant, but it's a free update. And they're all good. Like, they're all cute and all good. I love the SDX drops they're doing recently. I never have, like, anything to complain about. It's so fun to just, like, surprise get a couple new cute items. And I'm sincerely obsessed with this cactus. I think that is so cool. I'm gonna use that all the time. Oh, look at that. One minute ago, they tweeted about it. Was I right? Did I find all the things? Tank top, food, cactus, <gasps> and the scenario. It looks like I did. So I believe with that, we've covered both updates this week. Two of them. We got two. They weren't huge. They were two small updates. 
updates, but still it's an update. Watch out for that scary sim, okay? I'm I'm genuinely concerned they're gonna throw her at us again in some creepy way, but I guess if you want to download her, she is on the gallery. Her name is Kalia Maybe. Call call me maybe. Lovely traits, high maintenance, erratic, and self-absorbed. They fully put, hey there, you may have seen me on the main menu by now, maybe one too many times, and I'm here to stay. What should we do first? <laughs> like they're fully just making fun of themselves. I love it, but I fear her. She is kind of iconic though. Like maybe she's the new Jasmine Holiday. You know what? I might become obsessed with her next. What if her and Stanley get married? <gasps> she could be perfect for him. Okay, I've got some ideas. Don't mind me. I've got some planning to do. It involves frogs and that girl. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, with that being said, I'm gonna go. If you like hearing about Sims news, I always post videos like this when big stuff happens. I try to keep you updated, especially about the SDX drops because they don't really tell you what comes in them in the game. So I try and show you in the videos just in case you missed it. Tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts about the new main menu? Do we love it? Do we hate it? I'm not really sure. I don't think I like it, but I don't hate it that much. I can't tell if I hate it or if I hate change more. I think I just hate the change because it's not like offensively bad. It's just different and it scares me much like that sim actually. Anyway, have a wonderful day Feel free to subscribe for some more sims updates and with that I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. I feel like I'm gonna scare you all by posting this. I'm so sorry to have brought her to you more I feel like we all had enough of it yesterday and now I'm bringing it up again today